Hi! Welcome to Far Cry 4. Very quickly, we're doing a Herc mission. I'll let him talk. You called me. And... awesome together? Like monkeys and bananas. Quick, what do you think when I say monkeys, man? Bananas. Idols, man. Pagan monkey idols. I've like done some unkindness in my day toward my close cousin, the monkey. I'm trying to make restitutions with them on account of C4 vest. What? It's like 12 steps, but with guns. Now, I'd go up myself, but like I brought Coco 6 and Bongo 2 with me, and they got no body fat, man. Freeze faster than you can say chimpsicle. This is the problem, because word on the street is there's this monkey statue in some ice cave way up in those mountains. And I know where. Wait, what streets? These streets, dude! Listen, man, the Royal Army's also hunting for that statue, so like, chop chop! So sorry about that combat during the uh, mission briefing, not much I could really do about it. This is the first Herc mission, and the first thing we see, I've skipped running to the Sherpa, it's just the same one that we went to for Longinus. Takes us up to the Himalayas and, oops, a helicopter on my head, nearly dead. Good to know that Ajay can uh, survive a helicopter attack, or a helicopter landing on his head. Uh, I do like Herc, it's good fun. Um, well. I like him, I know he divided opinion last time. And there was a bit of a snap-in of enemies there, which was the first time I'd seen that, which I thought was pretty impressive. It just sort of, the first time I looked through the camera, they weren't, and he ran a bit closer, and suddenly they appeared. Anyway, hunting syringe to let me know where they are. They are, and there's only four of them, so that's good. And I go for a fairly hefty, sorry, not four at all, six, seven on the minimap. I go for a stealth approach to start off with, and even though these guys see me, they don't raise the alarm or get a chance to shout, which is good news. And I keep it fairly sneaky all the way through. I don't know why I've got a sniper rifle there when I'm approaching him, that's pretty foolish, and a knife takedown for this guy. And then obviously go over to loot the body in a second. Uh, that guy, I kind of thought about taking down, but thought, well, I'll continue with this stealth approach for as long as it's possible, and there's a guy isolated over here. So that's another easy takedown. Leaving just three on the minimap that I can see. Sorry, the sun is shining right in my eyes, so it's making it really hard to narrate this. <laughs> Probably didn't pick the best time. And there's a guy sitting there. I don't know if you saw him there. <laughs> right on the right. And I walked right past him. Didn't even notice him on the minimap. He's oblivious to me. I guess he's fast asleep. And when I do, uh, I think I do a sidearm takedown. Here, yeah, which wakes this guy up now. And I'm like, oh god, where did he come from? And I, well, as you saw, he came from standing right next to me. And then, obviously, as soon as I get the gun out, things go wrong. I try to shoot a rock. <laughs> Still, uh, mostly got the entire team taken down silently in that. In here is the box where we were hoping the monkey statue would be, but honestly, that would be the lamest mission ever if we got it immediately. Herc, I found a box, but it's empty. Dude, total cock block moment! Wait, wait, wait. Hold the blue balls. If the Pagan's Goombas are still up there, I bet dollars to virgins that they haven't gotten their statue either. Maybe the chimp statue is still on ice somewhere. Oh, <laughs> wait, man. I just heard what I said. Total stealth pun, bro. Scope out that glacier. <laughs> I like her. Goombas. Dollars to virgins. The <laughs> monkey on ice. Anyway, a little climb up here. And through the caves, enter the glacier. Glacier, 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 glacier. There's a couple of guys here, and I remember that finally. Um, you can shoot ice on top of them. So a little hunting syringe here to let me know exactly where they are. And you'll notice I'm kind of looking that way, but three guys are just off camera there to the right. I crush that one. The other guy. I kind of unnecessarily let him see me here. And he alerts the other guys who are now coming for me. But a grenade scares them off. I considered a Molotov, but wasn't sure if they would have put in effects for ice. See, he's running now. Oh god! Grenades and everything shot in the butt. The bum bum. Headshot through the smoke. <laughs> That's maybe my favourite moment in Far Cry so far being not the best shot in the world, and even worse under panic fire, the fact that I got him in the head with no outline while it was smoky. I guess actually because I couldn't see them firing I was probably calmer than I normally would be in a firefight. That might have a lot to do with it. Anyway, quick run round here to loot bodies and stock up on ammo. And then back to 
looking around for things to do. We're in the correct area for the objective, as you can see, I'm in the yellow circle, so I thought I'd go and have a look to see where that chest was, and that turned out to be the right decision, because it allowed me to sneak round this next pack of people. At this point, my hunting syringe uh, lasts quite a while, I think. I've almost fully upgraded it. So I think the max length is a minute 20. We'll see here. And there's a whole cluster of guys there. Um, and a side gun. When there's a whole cluster of guys like this in the open, a sidearm takedown is really the way to go. Handgun takedown, sorry. Um, you can see there I got two extra kills with the handgun as well as the heavy takedown, or two, four with the handgun takedown, they're worth 50 a pop. And then there was just one guy who was out of range, it would have been five. But clustered like that, it's a really nice way to tame them down. It'll, it's probably no good for an outpost unless it's the very end, although you're likely to be detected as a result. Anyway, swimming through here, icy water and you'll constantly lose health, you'll see my health ticking down there. And I, at first I thought it was just because I'm running out of breath. But that's not the case. What you have to do is, um, well, what I should have done actually is swum back and taken the, I forget what the name of the syringe is, but the one that allows you to breathe longer underwater. And just swum the whole way. I didn't realize it would be this far because at this first point I'm like, why am I still losing health? That sucks. Um, thought there might be a way to climb out here after that, but there isn't. These are just literally air holes that you have to smash your way into. And there's this funny um, glowy line, which is a bit surprising really because they didn't put that anywhere else they could have had a rope so that people could pull their way through um, or something like that I don't know maybe it's supposed to be a rope it's hard to say um, anyway because I didn't take the focus syringe I had to make my way through here and I've sped this up because there's about five of these I think um, but if I had taken that syringe I could have just yeah survival syringe it probably is isn't it Anyway, up here I come to my first opportunity for a takedown from below, a ledge takedown in the entire game. I've been looking around for them a lot, but haven't really found a chance to do them. Which is a shame, because they're one of my favourite takedowns. Now, I'm not sure what's up here, and it won't really let me see over the side. What I should have done is swum around to see if there was anything else there, because now I'm up here and I can finally take syringes again. You can heal in the water, but you can't take other syringes. Which I guess makes sense, right, because it didn't want you to die. Um, so we'll kind of overlook that slight continuity error. And I thought I might be able to get a ledge takedown there, but sadly not. He never really comes close enough. You'll see I swim around to where he patrols, worried that he might see me. He goes back again, but still not close enough for a ledge takedown. So I just get up and take him down there. And I'm looking for the gun takedown. Oh, sorry, the knife takedown. Because um, I can see that there's just one guy in range the rest are behind rocks and they obviously see their buddy go down right in front of them and go to investigate but I sneak around the back of the rock get a heavy takedown and I'm trying for a grenade takedown here which is why I don't go for the chain I wanted to kick him into his buddy because um, I've unlocked that and that's just I mean the grenade takedown's awesome when there's an opportunity for it the best time is you know to kick someone into their friends and exploderate them all Anyway, carrying on through the cave, we're nearly at the monkey statue now, apart from a couple of other caverns. This jump is slightly dodgy. I wasn't exactly sure what to do here. I didn't see a grappling hook anywhere, so I was going to do a running jump off there, but I didn't really have enough of a run-up and ended up just falling. Fortunately, I grabbed the edge, so I guess running off there is absolutely fine. Um, and got back up, but there was a panic moment there of like, Oh God, I'm going to die! No, no, let me die! Stupid way to die! Anyway, carrying on through another hunting syringe because I wasn't sure what was coming and you'll see that there's a bear right around the corner. I figure I'll finally make use of the autocross. Doing those videos and talking about how I never used it reminded me that I was actually carrying it all the time. And uh, Jake, I didn't realise if you're watching the Stinger, I had it as a regular weapon. I didn't realise I could use it as a sidearm. Um, yeah. So thank you for that. I might take the Stinger out again or I might take the Stinger out instead on my Sabal playthrough. I'm not sure if I'm just going to rush that though, because it'll bring me in with not much experience. Snow Leopards here, so if you've got this DLC, this is a great way to farm Snow Leopards. You'll see there's two or three, I think. Uh, two here, sorry, and then another one comes later on, but I also bait one. You may have seen me uh, toss some bait over... No, you'll see it in a second, sorry. There it goes. Because I just wanted to see if I could spawn more Snow Leopards. And sure enough, one comes down there. So if you've got this DLC, this is um, almost certainly the earliest chance you're going to get to farm snow leopards. 
and you can do this from pretty early on in the game um, when you take Dupla so about five or six story missions in and I suspect that's what I'll do with the Sabal playthrough, rush the first few story missions to unlock this so that I can just get snow leopards and honey badgers and everything else <coughs> anyway, still searching for the monkey statue and I went to have a look to see if that was an exit point I suspect it's not, it's another way in and then had a look up here because I'm an idiot and didn't see the yellow dot on the minimap thought the monkey statue was up here and I'd have to get it off the head then see that it's down there, there's also a snow leopard lurking down there, not sure where he's come from but good to know that they'll keep coming and it's also good to know that you can use bait in these caves to get animals because actually I think I do it in the next fight so here's the monkey, no, come on you can do it, there we are, there's the monkey statue <laughs> sense of direction, appalling and um playing this hungover. And then you need to escape, and once again I completely ignore the marker for where I need to be. Well actually perhaps you need to come, well no you don't need to come around from this way, because now we've got a whole bunch of guys storming in, and I could have played it two ways here. I could have taken a um, either a bullet defense syringe or a bullet dodge syringe, I think focus or survival, right? And just made a rush for the checkpoint and climbed my way up and out. But I kind of wanted to farm the experience even though I really don't need to and just there's a little bit of me that hates leaving any room uncompleted like leaving enemies and stuff that's why games where all rooms um, or segments in games where you get never-ending enemies always bother me because it's like oh I need to kill them all I must kill them all there we go headshot on a heavy and that guy's got a rocket launcher he's running away and then a guy comes up the side here, which is why perhaps I didn't need to climb up here in the first place to get to the checkpoint, right? Because if he can do it, I'm sure I can do it. Shredder to the rescue. And then I'm like, is it up there? No, it can't be up there. I still haven't noticed the fact that I'm supposed to be there. I just wanted to finish him off. And then obviously there's a bit of looting and then down here and up there to grapple to the next point. So as I said, I probably could have just taken a syringe to protect me from damage. There's another, there's a grapple switch there and I think another one, no, I think there's another one there, but actually it's just a regular climb. And then there's a cool note here from an expedition in 1953. Uh, they broke a few bones and fell through the, well, fell through the glacier and then broke a few bones. I just the little details in this are really good. Nice. Herc, I got it. Now get me out of here. Totally, man. I am the wind beneath your wings, man. But don't get any ideas, okay? Because I'm not monogamous. I tried it, it sucked. Bull's gotta run, man. Bull's gotta run. <laughs> I like how open Herc is with his sexuality. <laughs> Jesus. Is that a harpoon? Dude, meet the impaler. It's not just for whales anymore, man. I predict this will be the thing in and out of the bedroom with appropriate attachments. I do want that harpoon gun. Oh my lord. Total indie moment. Did you use a bag of sand? And switch the statue with a bag of sand because there was a pressure plate under it? No. But did you uh, find a pit of snakes? Snakes in the snow? No. No? No, it, it is cool, man. I'm sure, I'm sure it was suitably epic to appease the monkey gods. Hey, look. I find the other ones, man. I'm going to call you, okay? So there's more? Mm hmm All right, then. Okay. You got my number. Uh, I think you got mine. I do. And your address. And your wife's number. Mm. She's a beaut. My girls. Where to now? So that's the first Herc mission complete. He likes my wife. Thanks, Herc. Um, yeah, good. Good pre-order bonus. I feel like that was a solid mission. Um, on the left is Blood Ruby. That's another pre-order bonus. Uh, that's a good mission too. And on the right, uh, Herc's next mission. 
that's going to be in Curran itself, not up in the Himalayas, and involves uh, freeing animals. <laughs> Herc included. <laughs> yeah, they're good. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!